Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to create the cutest old-fashioned camera using Spellbinder's large die of the month for April. This one has a lot of dies to it and it is called Say Cheese. This is going to be perfect for all of the camera fanciers in your life. I have a lot of them in my life. So I'm jumping right into the creation of this card because there is a lot to put together. There are 28 dies included in this set. However, with all of Spellbinder's dies, you can create it as complicated or complex as you'd like or as simple. You don't have to use by any means all of these dies, but I'm going to use, I think, every single die that this set comes with so that you have a good idea of how to put this together. So there are three sentiments in this set. The one I'm using says smile, but you also get hello and thanks. There are etched details on all of these dies, so it helps you to see where each piece belongs. I'm just kind of following along with this large die here that I cut out with some terracotta paper. It's hard to show it on camera, but you can kind of see the lens piece there. And I'm using beeswax for that. I want mine to look really old fashioned and cute. So next we're going to put together the flash of this camera. And I cut out these two circles. The larger one, of course, goes on the outside. And the smaller one you use to put together the, the pieces of this flash. I'm sorry, I don't know all of the technical terms. But I used some brushed gold cardstock for these smaller pieces that kind of overlap each other. I put a lot of dot liner on this circle and I'm just going to start building this. You just follow the outline or the outside of the circle and slightly overlap these. And you go all around the perimeter of this circle doing this and it will just fit together perfectly. Let me speed this up a little bit here. And then here is the very last piece. And then in the center of this, there are other little circle dies that you'll glue inside. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But let's glue this down to the craft cardstock circle. We'll set this aside. Then I'm going to add the highlight to the bottom of this camera. I just cut out another piece of the yellow beeswax cardstock for this. And this just fits perfectly at the bottom of the camera. Next, we're going to build the viewfinder. So this is the first piece we'll put down. And again, this piece is etched so you know exactly where it goes. Next is a smaller square to add to the viewfinder. And then you get a little kind of a sliver of a highlight. And I cut this out with some gray cardstock. Some, it's called Silver Fox. And I'll just attach this to one of the corners. These are so detailed, but it really makes for quite the spectacular card. Let's glue that in place at the corner. And that's what it looks like when it's all assembled. Now let's start working on the lens. So I'm putting this thick circle down first. And then the black piece will go in the center. And then there are more highlights for this, but first let's add another detail to this with the yellow circle. And then this piece is the highlight. We'll add that right onto the black circle. Now for the little side pieces to this camera. This is the piece that's going to hold the camera strap. So we'll attach that behind it. Here is one for the opposite side. And you could attach real string or baker's twine to these which would look really cute but of course this set comes with the straps that you can cut out with cardstock 
But before we attach that, let's add the camera button. And you can just see how you keep building this and it gets cuter and cuter. And now for the little dial piece. Okay, and these are the straps. I'm just going to put a dot on either side. One attaches to the back of the card and one attaches to the front of the yellow piece that holds the straps. I'm attaching this in front of a piece of white cardstock so you can see how cute these black straps are. Otherwise, they kind of get lost in the black of my work mat. I'm just kind of holding those in place until they are attached. Okay, so let's finish the flash. I'll put another black circle on the inside of the flash and then align it with another white circle. We'll add the center of the flash with this little piece of yellow cardstock. And then they even have a highlight for this, so I'm just using more white cardstock for this. And that is done. Okay, now let's put together some of the florals that came in this set. This little flower, I don't know what it's called, but it just snaps into place so easily. And it's fun because you can make it a two-toned flower. So I used the Dahlia cardstock, which is the dark pink, and the pink sand on top of that. And now for the center, I'm adding a little piece of yellow. There's even a piece that cuts out these little dots. And I cut that out with some of the brushed gold cardstock. But isn't that a cute flower? I just love how those overlap. The next flower we're using brushed silver and some purple cardstock. And then this little piece fits right at the bottom. These are just some very clever flowers. I think Spellbinders always does such a marvelous job on creating all of these fun floral images or floral dyes. And now for the stems. Now it's time to start putting this card all together. I'm going to use the embossing folder of the month. This one is called Radiant Burst, and I thought it just went perfectly with this little camera. I'm using some alabaster cardstock. Let me show you what it looks like once I run this through my die cutting machine or embossing machine. But isn't that cute? You just see these radiant lines flowing out from the center. But it's such a fun embossing folder this month. So this is going to go behind the camera. And then I have a piece of, this is called Barely Peach cardstock to frame it up a little bit. I'll attach that down with some dot liner. The camera is such a big piece that I decided to create an A7 sized card for this. And it is seven inches by five inches. I'll add dot liner to the back of this and attach it to my white card base. And then I'm going to use some liquid glue to attach the main piece of this camera. This will go down flat. Just wanted to put a little extra glue behind the attachments on the sides of the camera. And I'm going to put this down kind of at an angle. I added some foam pieces behind the flash. That just tucks nicely right there, but let's take off the release paper and attach that to the top of the camera. I'll add a little additional bit of glue so that top flap kind of stays in place. Press that down. And now for a really fun part, we're going to add the florals around this old fashioned camera. I added a little bit of glue to the corner too, just to hold it to the side of the frame. All of the flowers I'll use liquid glue to attach, and they just fit or curve so beautifully around the flash at the top of the camera. The set also came with some leaves or greenery dies, and I'm going to be adding a lot of those to this card as well. Let's attach our second flower. And then we'll attach 
some of the greenery. Actually, I cut this one out with brushed gold. I like that little touch of sparkle that this cardstock provides. And now some little flowers around the lens piece. But this was quite the card to put together. It did take some time, but I sure had fun creating this one. And I have a few members in my family who are photographers. So I'm going to have to make up a few more of these cards just to send out to them. I'm sure they would enjoy this card. Here I'm just putting down some teeny tiny leaves around these smaller flowers. I really like that added little touch of green. I'll add a few leaves to the flowers on the stems as well. Just needed a little more greenery there at the top. And I could just keep sitting here adding pieces to this card. I was just having so much fun with this. But of course, like I said before, you could make it really simple and just add the basic pieces to this camera. And it would still just look charming and fun. For a last touch, I'm adding some gold gems around this card. I thought that the gold gems match nicely with the brushed gold accent cardstocks that I used. And then I'm calling this card done. I hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I'll be back again soon with another video, but let me give you a close up look at this pretty card. I'm kind of twisting it in the light so you can see the sparkle of the gems and the sparkle of the brushed gold cardstock. Again, this set is called Say Cheese, and it is Spellbinder's April Large Die of the Month Club. I'll have the link to this in the description box below if you want to go and check it out. Thanks for watching, my crafty friends. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!